What's up, love muffins? Oh my God, you caught me snacking. Yes, I'm not doing dinner. I'm not doing breakfast or lunch. I'm just having a little snack before I go to bed. Um, but I wanted to talk about something very serious. I want to talk about the coronavirus. I don't know all there is to know about it, but I just want to share my experience of being afraid of it, okay? The country, the world is in an uproar. We are all frightened to death. Everybody is talking about it everywhere. But without further ado, I am going to bless this little yum yum snack I'm having. I'm having a light salad uh, with my famous lemon garlic dressing. And I'm just having um, vegan sushi. It's actually a raw dish. I make this almond pate and I stuff it in nori with vegetables and um, all kinds of goods. It's really delicious. So uh, I'm going to have that and I'm going to have some mullet. I'll finish the rest of this bottle. It's a, a rosé. Chardon. Mullet. Okay, so I'm going to have that. So let me bless this food. So let me bless this food. I am grateful that I have this amazing food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. I ask that you bless it. I ask that you allow everyone on the planet to have a very, very yummy meal or snack tonight and a safe place to sleep. Amen. Whew. Yes, guys. Yes, 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 yes. So, oh my goodness. I am going to dive right into this. This is one of my favorite little snacks to have. Uh, sometimes I have it before bed. Sometimes I have it first thing in the morning or whenever my heart desires. So basically, it is, you know, my version of sushi. It's a raw uh, little yum yum meal or snack. Very yummy. Nice light salad to kind of complement it. So guys, <clears throat> unless you've been living under a rock, you may not have heard about the coronavirus, but if you're anything like all of us, we absolutely know exactly what the heck is going on. You may not know everything that there is to know, but there's a lot to know about it. And we're still trying to figure it out. At the very least, we've been told to wear a mask, wear gloves, wash your hands. Make sure that if you cough, cover your mouth. And you don't even want to be around anyone who is coughing, trust me. Hmm. Oh, it's nothing like Moet. Don't you just love a good champagne? So guys, why? Why was I out the other day? And we know all this is going on. People are dying of the coronavirus left and right. Our goal is to stay alive. Okay, is to be very, very careful and just freaking stay alive. So I'm out at the bar and 
this lady is just coughing, like coughing and not covering her mouth. Okay. Now, what do you think my crazy tale is going to say? Because I'm a germaphobe and I'm already very paranoid. Like the, the whole country, the whole world is paranoid. We're in an uproar. This is a scare. You know, so we don't know what the heck is going on and when this is going to end and if it is going to end. And, you know, so I have children that I have to protect. I have to stay on the plant. I have to stay alive. So I, you know, she, she noticed that I was kind of bothered by her coughing. Yeah, I was scared to freaking death, you might say. Um, because once you get it, you got it. Um, rumor has it that some people in some countries that catch it, they'll just kill you. Now, I don't know how true that is, but listen, I'm not trying to stick around to find that out. I want everybody to be responsible. If you're coughing, if you have flu-like symptoms, quarantine yourself. Don't even freaking go out socially. You know, and if you have to go to work, wear a mask. Do whatever you can do to protect other people. I'm just really, really alarmed by people who are coughing it's different than coughing last year you cough last year okay someone has a cold just cover your mouth when you hear somebody cough or sneeze or anything like that today you're automatically thinking at least i am coronavirus so the other night i was out i was with friends i'm celebrating my birthday month it's the whole month of march and this guy that was sitting near me he just kept coughing like the first time he coughed i'm like okay he coughed and he turned his head you know and i went on to do what i was doing minding my own business and then he coughed again and he just kept coughing and then i tried to make light of the situation even though this is not a joking matter it's a very, very serious matter i said hey listen what did your mom tell you to do when you coughed? And people laughed because he like wasn't covering his mouth. He said, oh, cover your mouth. I said, yeah, cover your mouth. But what the hell you think you got to goddamn do now with the coronavirus out there? You have to leave the freaking room. I said, it's very rude that you're coughing and coughing and just being okay. He was not only coughing, he was sneezing and just getting right back into the conversation. You know that sneeze, you got to take a minute because that shit travels. So I just want to tell people that if you feel like you're having flu-like symptoms and I'm no medical doctor, but the first sign of scratchy throat or, or anything of an illness, go to the doctor, call a doctor, do something. And then if you come down with the flu or flu-like symptoms or anything like that, don't be around other people. You are really, really scaring other people. Like I am just like, I don't even want to go out. And my whole business depends on me being out and networking. Businesses are shutting down. Conventions and, and things of that nature aren't happening because people are very, very afraid to catch this virus. And so I'm just really alarmed by people who go around, walk around, coughing and sneezing and not even protecting other people. Like that is just so freaking selfish. Like don't do that. Uh, make sure you wash your hands. Go overboard with washing your hands. Go overboard with washing your hands. I mean, like, you have to do that. Um, I was told today that it, they're now, they found some traces of it on money. So you're going to the ATM or you're getting money back from the grocery store and the damn dollar has the coronavirus? Mm. Chemical warfare. Could it be? Could it be? Is this man-made? That's one question I have. I've, there's been rumors that the coronavirus has been patented and that it is a man-made uh, virus. Is that true? What are your thoughts, guys? Comment below and answer that question. I don't know. I have my thoughts and doubts and beliefs about it all at the same time. Could it be? 
I really hope not. However, I was watching something on the internet some weeks ago, and uh, I think it was on YouTube, and uh, there was a person on there talking about they had the light saw the Lysol bottle and on the back of that it said will kill the coronavirus now from what I understand that can of Lysol had that those words written on there long before we even knew of this virus which leads me to believe well maybe it was man-made maybe this is something that uh, someone created in a laboratory or some sort. But if so, that's a horrible thing to do. Over what, economics? Well, you know, for the love of money, or the love of money. But at the end of the day, I don't want to belabor the point about this. I just wanted to come on and um, just say a few things about it and, and see where everyone else is about it. Um, if you're feeling sick or you have any of the symptoms, please protect yourself as much as you can and definitely be considerate to those who are around you. Um, if you are a mother or father or just one person that have other people living in the house with you, if you feel that you have this, get out of the house. It's better for you to leave than everybody else in the house because once you are affected, it's very easy for you to affect others, especially those who are in close quarters. So you kind of want to be considerate of that. Um, I really hope we could get this as an issue out of the way. Uh, this is very, very serious. I mean, I normally travel every month uh, not every month, but every year for my birthday. I travel throughout the year as well, but I normally take a birthday trip. I, I normally take two to three international trips a year. Who wants to get on a plane right now? So, I mean, this is really stopping people's lifestyle, uh, some livelihood. It's just a very, 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 very dangerous, 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 dangerous thing to catch. And uh, I hope we can resolve it, quite frankly, very soon. Mm. So, nothing else for me. Um, but I do want to know your thoughts. Is this man-made? Is there a cure? If there is a cure, and this is true, why was this disease patented? Who was this disease meant to wipe out? I mean, I have so many questions. I just don't know. I really don't know. I'm nervous. I'm looking at people like cross the street when you walk. No coughing, no sneezing my way. Um, I'm very irritated by this disease. And I'm telling you, if I catch anybody coughing and sneezing my way, I mean, my first thought is to really just smack the out of you. But I'm not going to do that. But... I'm going to read you your rights. Be considerate of others. And that's all I have to say. Be very careful. So, I love you guys. Comment below. Um, please follow me on all social media. Sexy Vegan Wine Girl on Twitter. I'm Sexy Vegan Wine on Twitter. I'm Sexy Vegan Wine Girl on Facebook and Instagram, and of course, where we're watching right now, YouTube. Guys, click subscribe to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome, Love Muffins. Um, if you are my favorite people who continue to return, I thank you over and over and over again. Uh, please send me your show ideas. If you have any topics, if you have any questions you would like for me to ask everyone, if you have some personal questions for me, let me hear it. Follow me on all social media. Please inbox me. 
and uh, let's keep our hands clean let's keep our face covered I wouldn't care if you look crazy walking down the street I would cover your face if you have a mask please use them anyway this is your favorite sexy vegan wine girl just signing off I love you thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe And if you're drinking, please drink responsibly. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And please drink responsibly. Live your best life ever and empower someone else to do the same. Bye.